All right, everyone. Uh, hi, it's Anthony again. And uh, just a quick video on your pre-flight checklist for your drone. This doesn't uh, necessarily mean that because I'm using a Mavic 2 Pro that this is only for the Mavic 2 Pro. It's generally for any drone that has a GPS or automatic altitude hold. Pretty much any advanced drone. Basically what you want to do if your drone has sensors, you need to inspect all the sensors around the drone. If it's like the Mavic 2 Pro that has sensors uh, 360, make sure that they are clean. You know, sometimes we're just handling the drone and we forget that our fingerprints get messy and uh, that can hinder the drone's performance when it's using these sensors. So make sure the sensors are all clean. Make sure your camera gimbal is, uh, is not locked, not blocking by anything. Check all the propellers. Open them up if uh, they're the retractable propellers and spin the motors spin the motors, check, open them up, spin the motors, see if they're not um, loose. Um, and you can also take the propellers off and put them on. But I usually don't do that because I just prefer everything work. Unless if I have propeller strike flying into trees, you know, something, sometimes it happens. So those are the only times that I actually do check the propellers, I take them off. Make sure that all the joints are good, make sure that the propeller is not damaged. It's pretty much right, I just leave it on the drone, you know, it's, it's convenient to just take the drone out and open it up, check it. Uh, the other thing is to check uh, the weather, check for your KP index, KP, uh, high KP index can affect the, um, the IMU on the drone, so if it's too high, I'd advise not to fly. If it's okay, you're good to fly. Also check, uh, the other thing that's important is the wind. Um, you have to know the wind tolerance for your drone, whichever drone you have. You must know the wind tolerance. Let me just put this down a bit. Yeah, so your wind tolerance on the drone. If you buy a drone, look it up, get the specifications, see the wind tolerance for your drone. And then use a app called uh, UAV Forecast. It's a, it's a wonderful app to use if you're an avid drone flyer. And that will tell you the wind profiles in each altitude. Usually people, you know, put in what altitude they want to go up but you can just open up the wind profile in UAV forecast and it'll tell you uh, what are the wind speeds at the respective heights. Usually what you'd want to look for is your wind speed at zero and it doesn't mean zero at like sea level because the app uh, senses where you are by GPS so zero would actually mean zero from where you're standing so that would be a zero. So don't worry about dropping your altitude or putting any special altitude there. It will always start at zero from where you're standing. And then you can look at the wind profile and it'll just go upwards and then you'll know what wind speeds are above you. So once that's done, once, once that's done, you can fire up the drone. Find a, find a nice spot to pluck the drone on to take off. If you don't, I know some people have the uh, landing pads. Those are amazing, but I just, I honestly can't. If it's just, you know, just to go out and fly, I honestly wouldn't use a landing pad. Just uh, put it on something flat and something clear. Make sure it's not metallic because it'll give you a compass error, which you need to calibrate again. So avoid metal structures uh, on takeoff and landing. All right, so find a nice spot for your drone. This is my most beautiful spot <laughs> uh, in the middle of the field. Well, on the drive of the field. Fire up the drone and basically what you want to do is fire up the drone and you're going to check all the controls for the drone just like a pilot would for their plane. They check all the control services and see if they're working properly. I have a compass error. So I love to calibrate because I haven't uh, taken the drone out since uh, since the Prague trip, which is about two weeks. So that's uh, okay, and just like that. So we'll open up the propellers. Open up the propellers. The reason why I open up the propellers, even though it'll flip the propellers out. Um, I open it up because, you know, it's just less shake on the on the arm when it starts up. I really hate those, you know, it's just like, whoa. All right, we'll prime the motors. So we'll do the uh, uh, takeoff. It's hovering properly. 
we're gonna go forward and backwards see if that control is good it's good then we'll go side to side that's good you go up and down that's good and then you turn left and right so those are all you need to do on your pre-flight check you can spin the drone if you want you can do anything else you want after that but that is the basic thing that you need to do that is just that is the essentials so anything else you want to add to that you can do it on your own but that is a must before you take off and the reason you want to do that is so that you know that the drone is actually uh, behaving well to your controls because you don't want to fly off and then it starts drifting you're like why isn't my controls working that well well because you didn't check it while it was near you you know so do that before you take off and then you can go and fly around and so look at this tree it's so beautiful it has no leaves on it let's make a cinematic video out of it so I hope this video found you well and you learned something some of you actually most of you would already know these things but thank you for watching so yeah if there's new people that are learning how to fly drones like your kids your family members teach them the basic those are really important prerequisites for flying drone to confirm that you have control over the drone before the drone goes off into the wilderness and finds itself something to hit so until next time fly safe and God bless <laughs>